everybody! Guess where I am? I'm at Mary Ellen After 60's house and we are broadcasting live here today. Welcome to my channel. My name is Carol. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And today, Mary Ellen After 60 and I are doing a collab. And we are going to tell you what we use on our skin. We are in our 60s. Mary Ellen is in her early 60s, and I am in my late 60s. We've lived long enough to know what works and what doesn't, and we are still always experimenting and looking for new ways to have better skin. And we don't claim to be experts, but we've had many years to experiment. And we just want to show you what we've learned and what we do right now for anti-aging skincare. And Mary Ellen is a testament to gorgeous skin. She is one of my sweetest friends. She's dependable. She's nurturing. Um, if you email her, she emails you back. If you contact her, she contacts you back. She replies to everybody's comments. She's very dependable, very sweet, very loving. She was a nurse and uh, she breaks everything down for us to the penny of what things cost. She doesn't like to shop. And in that instance, she reminds me of my sister. My sister was a teacher and Mary Ellen is a nurse, so she's just a kind person. And then she has nothing but good to say about people and she's very informative. Her channel is very real. I mean, she, she gets down to the nitty gritty and the details and she, she loves to help other people's channels. And I just love her. And today I am wearing a leopard nightgown. I really try not to show you too much cleavage, but I just can't help it. You know what I mean? It just, it just happens. But I'm also wearing a Victoria's Secret leopard bra and I'm wearing my flap holders and <laughs> Oh, I see Mary Ellen's wearing her nightgown. Is that your nightgown today, too? It is all good. I figured I'll keep mine on. So today we're going to show you our anti-aging skincare routines. I am going to show you putting on all my skincare in the morning, then applying my makeup. I'll fast forward that and then removing my makeup and the skincare that I use. So I hope you enjoy. Let's begin with clean skin and start with my morning regimen. First I'll put on my vitamin C and ladies use it. Use a lot of it because by the time you get down to the bottom it's going to be rancid so you might as well use a lot. I know I was using a little bit at a time so was Mary Ellen she said in her video and why? Because most of us get down to there and it's rancid. It means it's turned really dark. So, uh, and it doesn't have the effects that it does. So use, use it up. And I'm going to tell you the good things about this. This is a vitamin C serum by Art Naturals. It's 20% vitamin C, amino acid blend, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and ferulic acid. I mean, what more do we need to know? An essential hydrating agent that works to fortify and protect your skin against environmental stressors. It reverses UV damage. It delivers all day moisture and leaves you with a glow and radiance. Okay, so that's the first step. Let that soak in. And then I put this. Okay, so this one I found on Patty's Rockstar Mom's channel. She raved about this and her skin is beautiful, so I bought it. it Aura Cache's 100% natural rosehip oil is extracted from the seeds of rose fruits known as hips. Rosehip oil contains pure vitamin A, which is best known for replenishing and restoring mature or sun damaged skin. It says apply to your scalp also. So, I take this, usually just one drop, and just smear that around. 
Pat, 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 pat. Pat, pat for Patty. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. <laughs> Thanks for showing this one, Patty. Okay. After that, I put on my baby face. I love this. First of all, it smells divine. I just put one drop. Oh, I am a greasy mess, right? Okay, but I'm going to tell you what I'm doing next. After that, I put on my Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Time Complex SPF 15 Moisturizer. And this, I just, this I definitely do every day with those things because this is going to keep all the moisture in. It's time released and it'll keep the moisture in all day. After that, I put sunscreen. But before I put the sunscreen, I am going to just let this marinate. That's my new word. I don't know. Does anyone else call it marinating? But that's what I'm calling it. This is my new thing. I do not bake. I marinate. Baking's too dry for our age. Marinate is perfect. Powders are not your friend at this age, except if you want to blot your eyebrows, if, to put your eyebrow pencil, or you really need to blot your nose or your forehead. But uh, I don't use powder straight powder all over my face anymore. So after this is marinated, I will do my eye makeup while it's marinating and um, clean, do something. And then I put on my favorite sunscreen, Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Sunscreen with SPF 30. I also use 50, SPF 50s also, but today I'll show you the 30. And then I just put this on it maybe two or three drops, but now put the makeup on. I'm going to use Max Factor Skin Luminizer and the color is 60 Sand. I take one drop and put it on with my Beauty Blender. Take two drops for the sake of the video. So you can see it better. Then I take my new product. This is the medium and this is the NYX Stick Contour. Then I take my concealer You gotta say that. And then the eyes, squeeze it. You don't need to go like that. You don't need to make a funny face. You could just go like this. Just try and help. Because nothing, nothing pulls down when you open your mouth trying to stretch it, your skin. It doesn't, it doesn't work. You think it's working, but it's not. And if you want to see a video of the funny faces that women make here on YouTube, and you might be in it, I'll put that link below. All right? I'll do the lipstick over for you. I use the Katy Perry. And then I put on L'Oreal Unending Kiss. And it probably didn't really need, but I just want to make them juicy. And then I put L'Oreal To Be Treasured. And then I think if there's not enough definition, I will put on Mauve by LA Colors. It's close to the color. I'll show you the colors. The Katy Purry. The Kitty Purry. And then the Unending Kiss. And then, <laughs> just because, it's the gloss. It's a good combination. So let's see, did I finish? All right, this is how I remove my makeup at night and this is the skincare that I will use after. First, I'm gonna take this Pure Love. It's made with olive oil. It says to put this on your face 
and massage it in thoroughly and then when you're ready to take it off that's when you take a damp washcloth a hot washcloth and you put it on it and massage it exfoliate it and then rinse it off so I'm going to start with this two pumps and now I would take a hot washcloth squeeze it out lay it on my face now I take this um, Equate Refreshing Towelette. Now everything I do is not regimented or a must all the time. I remember, I do it. When I don't remember, I do something else. It doesn't matter. As you can see, I'm all the way down to there, but I don't do this all the time. I change things up, I get bored, and one thing that I can tell you that is a definite and a must, I always have something on my face. That is my 91-year-old mother's rule. She always has something on her face. If any of my girlfriends from high school are watching, they will tell you that whenever they came over and my mom didn't have her makeup on, she had Pond's Cold Cream, Vaseline, but usually it was Pond's Cold Cream, the real greasy one. And now, of course, she switched to Wesson Oil, but <laughs> that's in another video. Okay, so I use Elizabeth Arden. I love this. It's called Ceramide Purifying Toner. And I shake it up. I put, ooh, ooh, ooh. I go like this. And I just let it dry. After that, I put on, not every night, but most nights. Now, this is just recently in the past year. I have not, I have never ever used Retin-A, but now I use Retin-A. And I don't know too much about it. I was afraid when I first used it, like, do I put anything over it, anything under it? How can I smear it? But this is gel, and this is tretinoin gel, and this smears really easy. It's just like a, a white cream, and it's just like, see that? It's real easy. So I just put a nice thin layer all over here, 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 and here. And I don't go too close to my eyes because everything I put under here just travels right into my eyeballs. So uh, I'm just a little worried about this. Uh, I know people put it, Mary Ellen, I think, I think you do. I think you put it on your upper eyes, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't seem to do that. I'm, I'm a little worried, but I don't know if you should or you shouldn't. So I'm just telling you, I, I put it like all around here and here and here and then on my nose. This is supposed to be the miracle worker, the workhorse. Everybody swears by it. So then I put that on. And then Clarissa Patterson had sent me some fabulous skincare, which is just so rich and emollient and dewy and moist and it, your skin, you wake up like that in the morning. Now I put half in the refrigerator and I put the other half in this empty Neutrogena jar that I can't seem to throw away because it's so cute. Isn't that cute? I mean, that's why I bought it. This, this is good stuff too, but not like Clarissa Patterson's creams. Uh, she has her own company and I'll put her link down below. So there, it looks like pudding. It feels like pudding. It looks like pudding. And I just go like this and then That's it. Retin-A and this over it, and I'm done for the night, I think. Oh, well, okay, some nights I do the eye cream, and her eye cream, you have to shake up because everything is all natural, and I just go like that with the eye cream, and let it just marinate. Oh, yeah, let it just marinate. And... Oh, and then the décolleté cream, too. She gave me some décolleté cream. I put that on. I'm done. So, um, that's my nighttime ritual. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. And thank you, Mary Ellen, for doing this collab with me. And I love you so much. And please go over, watch her show, and subscribe to her. And remember, ladies, stay beautiful and powerful. It'll do you good. Mwah.
miss you, Reddy. So, Mary Ellen, can you throw me a, a white towel? <laughs> Look at that. I did it. Thank you. I try to do my best for you. She's so sweet, isn't she? I really try not to show you too much cleavage, but I just can't help it, you know what I mean? Mary Ellen. Okay. Ooh, shoot. Oh my goodness. 